off a toad. Good fish. It's a toad, Chad. Good fish, Seth. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Angler's Experience. Today, I'm fishing with my good friend, Chad Kaiser. As you can see, we're going to be fishing deep, deep uh, bridge pilings, fishing for smallmouth bass. Chad's got a good one on here, so let's get this fish in. We're going to show you folks this technique. It's a great summertime technique. Good fish, buddy. It's a good fish. Good fish. I haven't even got, I haven't I seen, haven't him, seen yet. him yet either, Chad. Good fish, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that thing. Oh, there's a piggly. Look at this one, guys. There is a toe, toe, toe. There is a good one. We're gonna get the net on this one, guys. Oh, We're gonna net this one, guys. Big, big oh, pig yeah. right here. Nice fish, Chad. Nice and easy, buddy. Oh, Got him, buddy. Look at that. There we go, folks. Look at that one, guys. Nice. That way. is a toad. Look at that fish, folks. Let's throw him on the boga grip see what we got. That's a heck of a way to start the day there, Chad. We'll pull that hook out, you know? Yeah, let me get the hook out for you. Folks, we're going to show you the technique so you can go out and do this yourself. Catch big toad smallmouth like this. There we go. Hook's Come. out. Swim. Get him on the boga grip here. Got him, Seth? Let me get down on the front of Got him? Yep, got him, All buddy. Right. Let's see what we got. Four and a quarter, guys. Four and a quarter. Nice, Four and a quarter. nice toad. That's what the day's all about, folks. Look at that. Fishing with a good friend, catching one of the coolest fish that swims right there. Big old toad smallies. Nice all right, buddy, let's get him back in the water. Experience is proudly sponsored by Crestliner, leader by innovation. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Sidewinder planer boards, fight the fish, not the board. Easy loader boat trailers, all boat trailers are not created equal. Tobler Marina, your one stop boat shop. Setter Rods, the American way. Pro Fish, quality fish taxidermy that is second to none. And AX Tackle, tackle that will give you the edge. Take me fishing and show me how to drive the boat. Take me fishing so we'll always have something in common. Take me fishing because my wedding will be sooner than you think. Rediscover the joy of boating and fishing. Visit TakeMeFishing.org. Good one? Yeah. You're right. Don't lose him, Jack. Don't lose him. They're on the oh. pilings today, buddy. Yes, they <laughs> are. <They're... laughs> All right, we'll get out of the way here. He's about ready to come up here. Yep, yep, yep. That's a nice fish, Chad. 
that little one with him down there. That's a, just a, boy, you want to talk about a football buddy? This is him right here. Right there, Seth. Yeah, I got him, buddy. Look at that one. That fish nice, is dense, fat, buddy. Here you go. That is a dense fish, man. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. That is awesome. Fat. They've been eating good. Yes, they have. Yeah. Man. Nice awesome. Quality small. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Oh, there's one right there, got guys. Oh, yeah. He's down around some cables or something. Oh! oh. There he goes. I got, got him. him. I got him. Out. Yep. Got him. He was down around one of them cables. Here he comes. Not a big, big fish, yep. guys. Nice one, though. God, beautiful yeah. colors Let on me that grab fish. Him you, Seth. Thanks, buddy. Boy, you inhaled that. Look at that, Chad. Oh, man. Has that fish got Look beautiful markings or what? Excellent small, nice. Look at that, guys. Four inch. Hand pour, finesse hand pour, Berkeley. You can't even see that bait down in there, guys. Totally swallowed it. Need All right. pliers? Yeah, we'll get, get some pliers. pliers we'll be good. We won't hurt this guy. Get some right here. Nice chunky fish. He's got a little blood, but he's not actually in the gills. He's just kind of wrapped around in here. There we oh, go. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's fine. Right he on the just, top, he's good to go. Yep. Folks, I want to show you something right here with this fish. That hook was not down in the gills, okay? But what happens, see the blood running out of that fish? A lot of people keep a fish like that because they think it's bleeding because of where they hooked it. That fish was in the roof of the mouth, no harm done. I noticed this, I started noticing this when I was walleye fishing, and when these fish start pulling hard, I'll go ahead and drop this one back. When these fish start pulling hard, they'll actually, especially when it's warm like this, they'll actually start to, to expel blood from the gills. Those fish are not harmed. Put them back in the water. If you watch our night walleye shows, just about every walleye we bring in, that hook is right here, but there's blood coming from the gills, and that just comes from getting excited, and they rupture one of those, but don't, don't keep them. They're fine to go. That's just from excitement and fighting, so just keep that in mind. They're not way down inside in the gill, don't worry about it. those fish are healthy. Let all right, them, Chad. Let them go, they'll swim on and that's right. be caught again. That's right, that's what it's all about right there. This week's product showcase brought to you by AXTackle.com. Tackle that will give you the edge. Folks, I wanna show you the, the hook that we're using. We're gonna talk about weights because we're using extensively a large array of baits, but they all have the same similar shape. We'll go over those with you. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you this hook. The baits we're running are real soft. And what we're running here, let me pull one of these out. This is a 695 Flirt Watermelon Green. And these straight baits that we're running here, they're real soft. And on a traditional hook, they tend to slide. And what I've got, these are Daiichi Rebarb, size two. They've got this little plastic barb that's backwards right here. And that little thing right there, guys, it just does wonders. And what we're doing when we're rigging these up, this is almost a seven inch worm right here. All we're doing is just taking it and sliding it up on there like so. And then with this little barb on here, what you do is you just shove it past the barb up, past the eye of the hook, and then it grabs. That thing holds like you cannot believe. But Daiichi Rebarb, size two, tied standard drop shot style, polymer knot, dropping the tag down through. We're running about, oh, 18 to 24 inches liter up off the bottom, running a quarter ounce owner drop shot weight like you've seen me use a hundred times. But the key ingredients, that little rebarb hook right there. Look them up, Daiichi Rebarb. They're available at axtackle.com. Great little hook for these soft baits like this. There's one right there, Chad. All right. Feels like a pretty good fish, buddy. Oh yeah, he's pulling line. Feel pretty good. Any followers with him? I don't see any yet. He's coming in easy now. I don't know if he's super towed, but he's nice. Not bad. Yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, nice small. Oh yeah. Oh, there he's gonna take angry. another run there. Folks, I can't tell you enough about. Oh man, there's a good one falling. Is there a big one yeah. falling him? Look at me Ooh. wasting my time with this one, right? <laughs> yeah. Come here, buddy. Well, he's got some. He got some fight in the tank too, buddy. Let me tell you. Nice thick. Not quite fish. ready yet. There we go. There's a handful for you. Barely you? hooked, Seth. Look right. at that. Just at that. right to the top. Classic drop shot right in the top of the nose there, guys. Well, he was in there good, though, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, it was. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good there fish we go. there, folks. That nice fish. All right. Let's go ahead and drop him back in. Folks, I can't tell you enough when Chad puts that fish back. I can't emphasize enough. Chad is an experienced, experienced bass guy. He's got more 
bass knowledge than I have. We're kind of multi-species. This guy's multi-species, but man, he works the bass hard. And he'll tell you the same thing. Right now, it's about it's supposed to get up to 92 degrees today. And the biggest mistake that people make, and I say it over and over again on the summer shows, and I'm gonna beat it to death, because what happens, everybody wants to be on that shoreline fishing. And what you have to do is you have to get outside. And these pilings like this are a prime example of this. What we got is a big lake system. We got a river running through here, and we're just on the uphill side of the river channel. We'll fish as deep as 40 feet today. And what happens with these right here, anytime you got pylons like this, this gives offshore structure. Offshore structure is key in the summertime. These are anywhere from 12 to 40 feet of water. And what we'll do is we'll start it in shallow, working our way out, and once you find them schooled up, that's where they're gonna be at, and that's where you'll concentrate your efforts at. But anytime you can find offshore structure, a big point extending out into the lake, it's 20, 25 feet of water before it drops down, or pylons like this, that's what you gotta focus on in the summer to get smallmouth, get these bigger fish. Guys fishing the shoreline, we were just talking about it, Chad and I, they're getting small fish, 10, 12 inches, maybe get one two, two and a half pounds sometimes. Big boys are living on offshore structure, just like these pylons, so keep that in mind. Oh yeah, nice fish, man. Nice fish. Retied, so I should have a good knot as long as he's hooked good. Oh yeah. Net fish, or can we hand him? I don't know. Can, he's, I think see. we can hand him. Yeah, we can hand him. Hand him. Oh, yeah, we'll he's hand just him. a round. He's a fat, fat, fat pig right there, buddy. Probably another good four pounder. Enough, Seth. Nope, nope, not quite ready yet, buddy. Oh, yeah. Nice football, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> All right, buddy, swing him, swing him, swing him. Oh, boy, he is not <laughs> ready. I just don't want to grab the line like we had happen yeah, earlier. Yeah, I know, I don't. Got him. All right. There Another you go, fat. Chad. Nice one, brother. There you go, buddy. Grab him up. All right, Look thank that. you. Oh, you bet. Folks, I tell you what, you cannot beat drop shotting in the summertime like this. The drop shot technique is just phenomenal. We use the daylights out of it. We wouldn't be catching these fish right now if you were crank baiting, jerk baiting, any of those techniques. We even tried dragging jigs and it wasn't working. The drop shot is what you have to do to finesse these fish in the summertime. Player pliers or chair pliers? Yeah, look at, look at the sun behind us, you know, middle of the day. Yep. 90 degrees out. When most people wouldn't even be fishing. Exactly. Yep. In the heat of the day, folks, drop shot. Look at that belly. Yep. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. There's some more of that blood right there, guys. Oh, yeah. Spinning right here. Just like we talked about earlier, if you turn him, see he's, right he's bleeding side. right there, but he was not hooked in the gills. Just like I was telling you when they disrupt her a little bit, that fish is perfectly healthy. Let's get that dude back in the water. Up. You pulling good? Another oh, fatty. Nice Look at that one. Nice chunky fish, huh, Chad? Another fatty. Tell you what, buddy, drop shotting. I swear, if that was the only thing I was going to be left to do in my life. That's all I do. Especially on the small ones. That's right. Let's see if I can get them for you. All seven. right, buddy, appreciate it. There we go. Nice chunky fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one, buddy. Right on the go roof ahead. of the mouth. Yeah, should we'll be there. there. Grab your yep. partner there. Here. There we go, nice folks. Right nice chunky fish. Nice one. Nice one. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the help. Yeah. Oh, oh man, God. guys. Big fish, big fish. That's a net fish there, guys. This is a net fish. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a net fish. Oh yeah. Look at that one, guys. There's Ooh. a tank. Oh, oh yeah, nice. nice jump. Take that line, buddy. Ooh. He is running.
Boy, these things have some shoulders. They got some power, don't they? They have power. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Barely hooked right on the top. Got him. There we go, buddy. Got your chest. That one there, buddy. Ooh. Right in the top of the snout, guys. Classic yeah, drop shot awesome set right there. Look at that, right in the top. You got him, Seth? Yep, got him, buddy. Go ahead. Boy, he is. Boy, he's got it rolled. Yeah, there we go. Folks, I want to show you once again. I don't want to talk about this all day long, but see the blood coming out of that fish? It was hooked right there. Just a little bit of a hemorrhage in the gill plate. Here you go, Chad. Hold point. your fish, buddy. Okay. Got him? Yep. All right. Look at that one, guys. Awesome fish. Another nice Was drop one heck shot. of a guy. Heck yeah, buddy. That is awesome. All right, man. Send him back over. Folks, what we're going to do is take a second here. Chad's going to keep fishing. He's got a fish on right now. He, he won't let me do any business right now. He just can. The last time we tried this, he hooked a four pounder. So we're going to go ahead and try to do this right now. What I want to do is talk to you about the baits that Chad and I are running and kind of why we're running this type of bait. Um, the first bait that we're running uh, is a Robo Worm Leech. This is a four inch Robo Worm Leech right here. The next bait is a four and a half inch straight tail Robo Worm right here. Next in line is a Berkeley 4 inch and 6 inch finesse pores right here. And then the big dogs been catching a lot of the bigger fish is the Flirt 695 right here. Now folks, if you notice the patterns of these, they're all straight baits. And what's happening in the summertime, something that you have to do is you got to finesse fish. And we're using lightweight line. I got six pound test fluorocarbon. We're using small hooks and thin profile lures. Guys, all these baits right here are very thin profile. And what you have to keep in mind when you're drop shot, especially this time of year, these fish have a ton of natural food in here. This place is full of minnows. Everything that's hatched out this year is in here climbing around. Last year's hatch, you know, stuff this big. And to go in and match the hatch identically is very tough. So what you have to do is offer them something at a nice slow speed, which the drop shot does, suspend it off the bottom, makes it easy to catch, and it's in a profile that they want to eat. Regardless of whether they're full or not, a thin profile bait is easy to swallow, and that's what's appealing to the fish. All these baits have that cylindrical profile, very thin. Even though this bait's almost seven inches and this one's only four, the profiles are the same. And what that does, even if these fish are full, you see these things, their bellies are just packed. Even these smaller fish we're catching, they're about ready to pop. And what it is, there's, there's some insects flying around here, and I'll try to catch one for you a little later and show you. There's just thousands of these little carcasses. They're about that big, a big water bug. And they're hatching out right now, and these bass are feeding on them. They're feeding on them as they're coming up from the bottom, and they're feeding on them as they're coming out of the water. So what we have to do is offer up something that's easy to eat, which this thin profile, very easy to swallow. The second thing we got to do, offer it up at a subtle, slow speed, which is what we're doing with the drop shot. So keep that in mind. This time of year, in the heat, slow fishing, everybody thinks it's slow, 92 degrees out, middle of the day, you're seeing us catch these fish, and it's just because we're presenting the bait right and we're presenting the right style of bait. So keep that in mind. Get yourself a good selection of these baits right here. Get out there and drop shot these deep pillars. I know you'll catch big smallies. Right there, guys. Good one. That feels like a pretty good one, Chad. Head shake a little bit. That one there on the Robo Worm Leech right there. Nice man. Nice. That's a good one right there. Let's see if I can get him for you. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, he ain't oh, quite he's ready gonna, yet. Yeah, he's gonna take some more. Come here, buddy. Nice chunky fish. Paul. Right on. Right in the top snap. of the lip where it should go. Yep, classic got drop him. shot, yep. You got him on the leech there, guys. Take a look right here. Switched over to the Robo Worm Leech. Chad and I have been working these pylons. We just went with a different profile. We're using that slick tail worm. Now we just went with that leech pattern, just a little change up, keep them biting. Keep the profile a little different. All right, buddy, let's get you back over there. Yeah! Nice, Molly. That's, a good, one, That's a good one, buddy. That's a good one right there. Smally. Well, folks, Chad did a little change up on us here. Whoa, the evening nice time came, and him and I both and both tied up top waters. I put on a prop, and he put on oh, a yeah, walking bait. Oh, oh nice. look at this one, guys. 
Just had to do it with yeah. the evening time coming around here. Watch out for them hooks. Yep. Whoa. Nice ones you had. I'll bring them you in nice and slow. You got him hooked slow. like a mother, buddy. So there we go. Oh, Look yeah. there, guys. Ooh, that is a fat smallie. Look That's at this. That's a nice toad there, guys. Yes. You grab him up in the mouth there, Chad. Oops. There, buddy. He's kind of got that hook wedged. Danger, danger. Spectacular. Right there, let me get this one out for you here, Chad, and then he won't be all wedged up. There we go. Started out drop shotting, folks. Evening time came around, and we both tied up some top waters, and Chad was the first one to strike right there. A beautiful fish. There we go, guys. Walk the dog bait right there. Nice. Top nice. water smallie. Nice one. Right at dusk. That's awesome, buddy. Let's see if we can't do some more of them. Good job, Chad. Well, folks, I'll tell you what, we're getting to the end of the day right here. We had a great day on the water. I know I enjoyed watching Chad catch all those big fish. I was a little bit jealous, a little bit, but that's okay. I hope you folks watched and learned something today about fishing in the summertime. Um, did you have a good time out here today, Chad? Seth, yes, this was an excellent day of smallmouth fishing. Couldn't have been better. Folks, I tell you what, I enjoyed this today. Chad and I came out, we taught each other a lot of tricks. This is one of Chad's spots and I wanna thank him for bringing us out here to this. Folks, I encourage you to get out in the summertime. Don't get frustrated because it happens to the best anglers. They get frustrated in the summertime and it's just because they don't follow the rules. Don't fish shallow. Go out to your local lake, find these deep pillars like this, tie up the drop shot with some of those slick tail worms and you too will be catching big smallmouth. Well, folks, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next week.